You may not believe it, but this playground was once a cemetery, and it still has a grave of someone who was not only a war hero, but he had a belief that is still believed by some today. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Hamilton, Ohio, and Happy New Year. It's 2021, and the birds are singing. And I'm here at the grave of John Cleve Sims, and he had a certain belief, and some people still believe it. So wait till you hear about it. Our adventure starts here. At one end of the park is this plaque that tells a little bit about the monument as well as his theory. So if you'd like to freeze frame and read it, you can. One thing that caught my eye when I was reading this plaque that said many of the remains in this cemetery were moved, but it didn't say all of them. In this playground is the grave of Captain John Cleve Sims, an 1812 war hero. And if you live in the Cincinnati area, yes, Sims Township is named after him. And he was also a philosopher, and he believed in the theory of concentric spheres and polar voids, and believed that the Earth was hollow at the North and South Poles, and that you could live within it. Sims died in 1829 at age 49 years and six months. And in the 1840s, the cemetery was converted into a park. The graves were relocated except for Sims. Public leaders decided to keep his grave here due to his being from a prominent family and for being known for his ideas. It was around this same time that his son, Americus, erected the Hollow Earth Monument you see before you, and now it's one of the oldest public memorials in the U.S. And here's the Hollow Earth Memorial his son put on top of his father's grave. Some hooligans put some graffiti on his grave calling him a fanatic. As you can see, the grave is pretty well worn, and I'm not sure if it was the Historical Society or if it was the Hollow Earth Society, but someone has placed plaques on all four sides of this monument so you can actually read what's said. On this plaque, it says, Captain John Cleve Sims entered the Army of the U.S. as an ensign in the year 1802. He afterward rose to the rank of captain and performed daring feats of bravery in the battles of Lundy's Lane and Sortie from Fort Erie. On this side it says Captain John C. Sims, a native of New Jersey, died in May 1829, aged 49 years and 6 months. On this side the plaque says essentially why I've already told you that he was a philosopher and the originator of the Sims theory of concentric spheres and polar voids. And this is really cool. Somebody has placed, and I, I presume it's recently, it doesn't look too bad, it's water damage, but it's been raining a lot lately. And it's a certificate of recognition. It says, Honorary Certificate, Official Recognition from the Hollow Earth Society, John Cleve Sims Jr. made payment for honorary membership in the Hollow Earth Society. Possibly the first person to scientifically speculate about a hollow earth was none other than Edmund Halley of Halley's Comet fame. Halley's theory is that the planet is a series of nested spherical shells spinning in different directions all surrounding a central core. Sim's initial vision of the earth's interior was like a simplified version of Halley's multi-layered model with the exception that Sims' version included huge holes in the north and south poles which allowed access to the hidden world inside. These holes, his unique addition to hollow earth theory, would even come to be known as Sims' holes. At one point, Sims even proposed to mount an expedition to the North Pole where he was sure he could find one of these apertures and gain access to the inner Earth. He believed the interior of the Earth was able to support life, saying the inside of the Earth would be stocked with thrifty vegetables and animals, if not men. Even though he was mocked and ridiculed by the general public and the scientific community, Sims still held true to his theory. Eventually, Sims was able to convince enough people of the possibility of his hollow earth theory that he and his supporters actually got Congress to vote on funding his expedition. The grant was shot down, but his belief in the inner earth never died. He continued to campaign for the theory until his death in 1849. 
I find it interesting there's still a faction of people out there in 2021 who still believe in the hollow earth theory. And for me, I think it's fascinating that this used to be a cemetery, now it's a playground, with the exception of this one grave. And if you're ever in Hamilton, Ohio, you should definitely come up and check it out. It's really interesting. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. As I was leaving, I noticed one side of the park had these pillars that looked a lot like the monument, minus the holes.